Hi everybody! This is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today we are going to talk about last week's new releases from Pink Punch Studio. Um, so many amazing fall palette kits. I love the fall palette. Have I mentioned that yet? The fall palette is gorgeous. So, um, last week for Pink Punch Studio, we got two new cover collections. The Neutral cover collection. Super, super functional. This will work with any of the Kiss planners, um, any of the colorful ones with all the neutral tones. And then the matching fill paper as well. And I especially love the gradient ones. And then the fall cover collection. This fall palette is so pretty. Um, and the matching fill paper. Then fall palette feather pins. So pretty. I've already used these in a couple of different spreads. I'm just going to keep saying so pretty over and over again. Um, the binder rings in the fall palette. And also in the metals palette. Um, I love this palette too. It's got all of your standard silver, um, gunmetal, rose gold, and then it's got the gorgeous um, burnt metal gradient, which is beautiful. And then we have uh, the new, brand new princess wire clips. So you have the on the paper style and the off the paper style. This one's the fall palette and then there's also the metals palette so it's got all the metallic tones as well as that burnt metal gradient and then also in the muted palette. So like usual I have not yet done today's daily so I am I've left every single thing open here. So let's close a few. All right. So for today's planner, it's this pretty reddish brown color. So this is the um, the Fall Palette Kiss Planner. I've already shown it in a couple other videos, but I'll just show you a little recap here. So the Kiss Planner, the first page, this is the monthly Kiss Planner in the square orientation and the Fall Palette. So the first page is always the gradient, if it's a color one. Um, and then each link, each week here, one, two, three, four, five, six has a link. Each little box has a link, so these take you to the weekly page and the boxes take you to the daily page. So here we're at the weekly page for last week. If I tap this link at the top corner, it takes me back to the beginning. So touch this link, here's tomorrow. So the, the pages ignore this little sticky. Um, the pages have a little autumn plant and a drink in the corners and you can cover those up or should let them shine but that's where your links are hidden so we tap this link and it takes us to the very last page in the planner you can see the last page is highlighted so if we go back to the beginning today is the ninth and we're gonna do a daily for today um, at the beginning of the month I went through and I put these little date stickers on every page. Most days I've been using them, some days I take them off, but they're there in case I want to use them. So let's pick a cover that matches today's page. I'm going to go with this nice chocolate brown. Love it. Now I could pull in one of these autumn colored pages um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to actually take the white because a little bit of white space is a good thing. So I'm just going to take this 
fill paper that comes with the cover collection. Now, if you haven't seen, Pink Punch Studio is going to be in the DPA sale tomorrow along with 15 other shops. And each shop has its own discount. Um, I think the smallest discount is 20 and the biggest I think I saw was 50% off. So check out the DPA Facebook group um, tomorrow morning or it could even be midnight tonight, I'm not totally sure, a code will be released and you can use that code in any of the participating shops to get your discount. Pink Punch Studio is in the shop. Don't quote me, I want to say 30% off, but I can't remember for sure. It's been a long day. Um, it's a good deal. There's lots of good shops. It might be 20%. Either way, awesome. So you got to stock up some stock shops give you extra stickers if you buy certain dollar amounts. Um, so yeah, check it out. Don't mind me, I went for bubble tea right before I filmed this video. So I have, I have my, can you see my little pearls? Yum. So I'm gonna be drinking my tea while I'm filming this video. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't had bubble tea in a while. All right, so let's see what I have in my planner kits that kind of match this palette. I feel like the there's a fall floral. Mm. It's a bit bright. Mmm. This might work. So this kit is from a few years ago. Maybe two years ago. Um, this is the Fall Country Chic Planner Kit from Pink Punch Studio. I think this is gonna work for me. Maybe use some of this leopard print. Oh, look how good that goes with these colors. I rarely plan these videos. I usually just wing it. And when I'm winging it and something works out this well, it's cause for celebration. So cheer with me. Yay! So I always do my spreads the same. My dailies are pretty consistent. Uh, same but different. So we need a box for my wins and a box for my gratitude. Oh my gosh, these colors are making me happy today. Look at that. Um, I have some stickers already in my elements. So I'm just going to use those. If you haven't set up your elements, I do recommend using it, but keep it small. Don't put every sticker you own in your elements. Just put your regular stickers that you, you often use. Um, otherwise, it kind of gets hard to hunt through and find what you're looking for. These stickers that I'm using are ones that I made myself with a free font from Lenny Digitals. And if you look through my YouTube channel, I have both a video on how to set up your elements and a video on how to make these font stickers yourself. So I'm just pulling out all the stickers that I'm gonna need for this spread. I'm gonna just stick them on the page. So I will link Pink Punch Studio in the description. Make sure to check out the Etsy shop. And I'll link the Pink Punch Studio kits that I'm using here as well. So I'm gonna delete that little date sticker because we're gonna use these ones that are all matchy. So I'm feeling matchy today. So now I need something to put my date on. I want to kind of keep with this whole 
denim leopard vibe. I love these stickers. And double this one up, I think. So first I made the sticker the size that I needed. And then I dragged it to a blank space so I could lasso it, copy, and paste. I'm just zooming in here so that I can see the top of the page a little more clearly and get everything lined up the way that I want it. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like this sticker came in at a bit of a tilt. So when I get a tilted sticker, I just re un I deselect it and then I reselect it and just kind of rock it. And now it snaps it into place so it's kind of parallel with the page. Good notes is weird sometimes. So all of these stickers I pasted down before this orange sticker. So if I were to put Thursday on top here like I mean for it to be, it's going to go underneath the sticker, which doesn't do me any good. So let's take all these, I'm going to cut and paste, and now they're the top layer. So good notes will leave them on top the way I want them to be. There we go. Well, it was really fun when Tyler and I went for bubble tea today. I don't know if you can see it because I wrecked it. But the little girl on my cup has bangs. She's, it's rainy and she's got little bangs just like I do. And the one on Tyler's cup has a soccer player. And Tyler used to play soccer. So Tyler got a kick out of the fact that randomly our bubble tea cups matched our people, our personalities perfectly. It's a good day. <laughs> So same thing again, I'm going to cut that word to do and paste it back down again, just so it'll be on top of the sticker instead of going behind it. The last thing I always include in my spreads is my little daily checklist that has all the things pre-built into it that I like to track. I also have a video and a little um, template for making your own one of these so you can just search the youtube channel there we go now we need a few stickers to kind of fill in the white space i'm going to grab this little leopard heart and paste it there and let's get a denim heart I'll paste it down here. Actually, you know what? Maybe one of those yellow ones would look better. I don't know which one. Okay, this one. It ties that title in because I haven't used that color anywhere else on the spread, so having it here kind of ties the color together a little bit better. All right, so that's my planner. Now we get to decorate the desktop, which is the fun part of these KISS planners. So I need a paper clip. I'm gonna take this brown that matches, which I think I'm gonna do the darkest brown. 
I love these crown ones because they work kind of sideways. Like I'm always clipping this tracker on the side of my page. And these crowns work perfect for clipping on the side. See? Because the other ones, if I were to put it here, I'll show you what I mean. So we take the diamond. And in order for me to use the diamond on this page, I'd have to rotate it because you can see where the missing little piece is that holds it on the page. So I'd have to have it sideways. For the crown, if I put it here, it's the right direction, which I love. Okay. So which feather pen matches. I'm thinking this one looks close. Kind of matches that leopard print. Oh yes. Look how good that looks. I love pulling out the old kits and, and giving them some love too. Seriously, don't just go grab your your current paper clips and the cover collection make sure you when you're in the pink punch studio shop you check out some of the planner kits and some of the older stuff too because there are some gems in there since i'm drinking bubble tea right now i think i need to put some bubble tea in my spread The pastel one, the primary. Those are my only two options for bubble tea. Okay, let's go with pastel. Oops. So I think blue or orange. Maybe yellow? Hmm, maybe we should go primary. I don't know what color is going to tie in the best. I'm going to use pastel yellow. And my tea has pearls and ice cubes. So we'll put those on top. And next the lid. Oop, don't see that yet. We're not ready for that one. All right, so there's the bubble tea. I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Perfect. I love it. All right, so let's close those tabs. I think I'm going to just take a couple of these clips. Oh, I did it again. Failing at my sneak peeks today. Oops, delete. I'm going to delete the two clips that are not the ones I want. So these are the clips that are meant to be sitting on your desktop, not in use. You can see they have the piece here that's meant to go behind the paper. I need a little bit more decor. think we need some bling. Maybe some red planner bling. So I just selected all the stuff in the red column. And let's just bring it in. Oh, I got more than the stuff in the red column. I don't want these beige ones. 
I'm just filling in the empty space. Keep the page interesting. All right, and I've purposely left this corner so that I can do my sneak peek for tomorrow. Um, and I've already accidentally sneak peeked it twice. So if you're paying attention, you're not gonna be all that surprised, but check out, now it won't go the new autumn plants. So the old desk plants had round pots. These ones have hexagon pots and naturally they're in the fall palette, which is beautiful. And they are all autumn type plants. Like look at, look at, oh my gosh. I just love the colors in this. Look at the detail. These plants are gorgeous. So you can mix and match your, your pots. So if I grab the saucer, and we'll just paste this down on the page, and then we can grab a different colored pot, and we'll put that on, and I'm purposely going to put it at a different angle than the saucer, because I can keep hitting the wrong tab. Now, which plant should we do? Oh, I love them all. So this one looks very much like the one that we saw in the corner of the planner that we're using. But I think this one is probably my favorite. Those shiny leaves and the gradient color in them. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my goodness love 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 so those plants are going to be released tomorrow and because it's the pink the digital planner anonymous dpa sale you will be able to get them at a discount so make sure you look for that discount code in the pink punch studio um facebook group i'm sure people will be sharing it on instagram and there's also a digital planner anonymous dpa facebook group so check out the codes find the codes buy the stickers, save money. Yeah. So we played with some of the new releases. Let's do a quick, quick recap here. So we used the new fall covers. We used the new fall pens. We used the new fall princess wire clips. In addition to all that, we had some more binder rings and the neutral palette covers. Super fun. And last and definitely not least, sneak peek for tomorrow are these gorgeous new pots. So I will link the kits and the shop in the description and the Facebook group. Check it all out. Check out my Facebook group. It'll also be linked down there. Um, do your whole like and subscribe for me if you liked my video and I will be back on Sunday to do another plan with me for you. Um, maybe I don't even know what shop we're going to use stickers from this time. It'll be a surprise. So I'll see you in a few days. Bye everyone.